Hey, what's going on guys? Ellery is back to bring you another video. Today we're going to talk about our installation in the city of West Hills. We're also upgrading a main service panel and not only upgrading, we're also changing its location. So without further ado, let's do this. So hope you guys are doing well. I noticed that this, today is November 1st and uh, we've got about 60 days left before the year is over. So I've got this time-lapse video that's set up here since we started the job this morning. And let's talk about orientation real quick. Now, I'm going to pull up the shade report for this house and let's talk about why we're placing the panels where they're at. Some let's see. Oh, I don't think it's coming out right, but let's let me step over here. Oh, there we go. It's much better. So this is the shade report. You can see that the south side here's north, south, east, and west. The south side is the brightest area of the roof, and that is where we are installing these modules. Right now it's about almost four o'clock in the afternoon. So we are seeing some shading from these trees here, which uh, not a big deal because these will be turned below the roof line. But just wanted to go over where is the best location for panels. So it is right here on the south side. So you're getting mid midday when the sun is at the six o'clock position morning is at the three o'clock position and the afternoon is at the nine o'clock position so. uh, the, this roofing material is asphalt shingles and we have installed the footings and these are unirac that's the brand and when we're speaking about footings, there's three prominent companies that are in the market. It's uh, Snap and Rack, Unirack, and Iron Ridge. Uh, and you definitely can't go wrong with Unirack uh, footings. Can you imagine that the rain falls from the ridge of the roof coming down? And when we make these penetrations here beneath the flashing, there's nowhere for water to go but down. And this is a, a shingle layer on top so the water tends to recede going down the roof line and such and when we penetrate on the roof itself we don't just pick a mark an area and penetrate we do mark them you can see these lines these chalk lines Beneath these lines are the roof rafters. So there, a rafter is a beam that's coming in from the underside of the roof. So we have rafters that's in the framing of this house. So when these are penetrated onto the rafters, they are not going anywhere. And it can withstand up to over 100 mile per hour wind. Now if you just install these anywhere in the roof deck like say say here on this area then yes that would be a concern and according to the plans or the design plans from the city we are installing them on the rafters themselves and let's talk about this what these are these are the power optimizers now what do these do uh, these are added to the modules and this is what come uh, and that enables the modules to become intelligent so we, we start seeing some shading in that area if you are aware of what the solar system is it's, they are installed on a string and if one panel gets shaded then it affects the rest of the modules production and performance but with these optimizers, that's what makes these panels intelligent. And 
each module has their own optimizers. So if one has shading, it doesn't affect the production on the rest of the array. Now, here on the north side of the home, here is the existing main service panel. And we are upgrading the main service panel to 225 amp and this is one of the original main service panels from when the home was built so we've got this conduit coming out and we're going to be rewiring this to this new location right over here here's the riser which goes right above here and here's where the new line is going to be so in order for homeowners to upgrade their main service panel the utility company has to come in to mark and spot the new location and the utility line is right there so that line that we see from there is going to be moved from that location to this location and the other penetrations are this is where the new line, the, the existing service, uh, I mean the existing line from the house is going to go down here and here's the utility line. And this, this is the conduit from the solar array. Well, let's take a look at the ground level uh, but before we look at the new location let's look at the existing location so here is the old main service panel here's the placard and i'm surprised that we still have the decal because most may, most older main service panels you don't actually see these decals any longer this um not exactly sure what or how many amps this is but it looks it looks vintage so we can see the decals there and this is what the the old panel looks like and here's the electric meter so that looks like it's a hundred amps And that's one of the larger breakers. So we have some 20s. We've got a 50 20s, and here is the main, the main breaker. Right there. And here is the new location. Earlier, we were above the roof line. And this is where the electric meter is going to be placed the, with the utility line. And this is going to be the installation for the new breakers. Now, this is a huge main service panel. It's a 225. 225 bus max uh, the breaker says 200 but the max bus is 225 amps and here is the AC disconnect and the solar edge HD wave inverter this white box is what converts DC electricity to AC electricity before it goes back in to the grid
nutritious, all look good. So with the 225 amp MSP, uh, the homeowner has an option to uh, build the swimming pool, a second, third story, a spa, a jacuzzi. It's, it'll be more than enough. And why do we upgrade to a 225 instead of a 200 or 125? And simple answer is the cost. The this is just in general, but the cost of upgrading a main service panel to 125 amps is 1800. To a 200 amp is around 2000, and a 225 is 2250. And you might as well upgrade it to a 225 and paying that little extra. Uh, than upgrading to a 125 for 1800 but <clears throat> just talking about expandability here is the grounding wire the gone rod and here's the grounding wire and this is with uh, following the code regulations from the city and the electric codes, they have to tie into the main water line as a ground. And the main water line is down here. So, you know, it's great. Oh, that's our job for today. I want to say thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys again on the next video. This is Ellery from Porter and Solar. Thanks for watching.